First up in our tech news roundup of the week, Google were out in full force for their developers conference and boy did we get a whole host of new announcements from the tech giant. Like Google L, the new version of the search giant's amazing smartphone operating system. It comes with a new lick of paint to better fit all of the new Android form factors. From mobiles and tablets to smartwatches, Google's design ethos is now changing to incorporate all of its different form factors. The Google material design is completely responsive and draws inspiration from the real world too. Developers can now define an elevation value for certain UI elements, meaning a text message pop-up for example will include global lights and shadows all in real time and almost like in 3D. Every change is also animated too, while fonts have also been redesigned to work on tiny watch faces as well as TV screens. Gmail, for example, with its new material design has been given a slick new look that scales perfectly across the different platforms, and handily Google has also provided a set of guidelines for developers to tap into to give their apps a fresh design. Right now, Google isn't saying when the Android L release will be, or what it'll be called, but a developer preview is out now so coders can start getting stuck in and a full rollout is expected in autumn. But if you're wanting to get in on the Android Wear craze, you'll actually be able to order one of Google's smartwatches right now, straight from the Google Play Store. LG's G Watch is available to order now, while Samsung's also joining in on the Android Wear invasion with its own watch known as the Samsung Gear Live. We've seen LG's and Motorola's models being teased for quite a while now, so it's surprising to see Samsung's brand new model ready to go straight away. Android Wear lets you get alerts from your Android phone right on your wrist. Price is still to be confirmed, as are shipping times, but we'll update you as soon as we get them. And it's official, Android TV, Google's next attempt at invading your living room. At first glance, it looks like a totally different version of Android, but it's exactly the same OS running on your phone and tablet, Android L, only optimized for the TV. And unlike Chromecast, it runs games as well. With Android TV, you can use your phone or tablet as the remote, or even an Android Wear watch. While there are also hardware versions available too, all it needs is a D-pad and a voice input. The Android TV UI itself looks very simple, with content up front and center, while search is also baked right in, letting you quickly and easily search for what you're looking for right from your couch. There's even a focus on gaming as well. You can play Android multiplayer titles with your friends, even if you're using their phone or tablet as the controller. You can get to play with a physical gamepad on your TV, while your friend can play along on their own screen. You can also use it just like Google's cheaper Chromecast, letting you cast over your favorite videos, shows, and music directly to your TV, all through your phone or tablet. The Play Store has also been given the TV treatment, letting you install your favorite apps quickly and easily like Netflix. If you won't want the entire 2015 Sony 4K and HD TV range, and HD TV sets from Sharp and Philips will launch with Google TV baked in. There's no word on exact release dates at the moment, but you can expect it to arrive later this year. And finally, it wasn't all just about Google at the event, as Razer announced that they're making their own Android TV powered micro console, and it looks like it could leave Ouya's days numbered. Razer's brand new micro console looks a lot similar to many of its small, puck sized streaming rivals, only it's decked out with the company's iconic bright green hue. And just like the other Android TV powered set top boxes, Razer's version will let you stream down movies, music, and TV shows. Well, you'll also be able to install a wide range of apps, but unlike some of the other Android TV boxes, Razer's taking a firm focus on gaming, which makes sense considering the company's heritage, and it could deliver a knockout punch to the Ouya. If you're interested in grabbing Razer's mean green streaming machine, it's slated to arrive later this year in the autumn, although there's no word on pricing just yet.